Hi, I'm Gary Pierce. As one of your commissioners who helped implement our current renewable energy standard, I want to update you on our progress. One of our goals is to ensure that Arizonans have safe, reliable power at a reasonable price. We've achieved that goal by having a diversified portfolio of electric generation resources that include coal, natural gas, nuclear, hydro, and renewables. Arizonans enjoy electricity prices that are below the national average. One of the great natural resources of this state is our abundant sunshine. It has served us well in making Arizona a great place to live, a great tourist destination, and now a great place to produce solar energy. I'm proud that Arizona leads the nation in solar energy policy. Arizona has more solar power capacity per capita than any other state, in fact, more than twice as much as California. Your Corporation Commission has done a great job in helping the solar industry to flourish in Arizona. By prudently managing the incentives that we pay through the utilities, which started out at $3 per watt in 2008 and is currently at $0.10 cents per watt in 2013, we've achieved two important goals. One, we have kept the burden on you, the ratepayer, to a minimum. And two, we have made the incentive dollars go a lot further. This has led to an ever-increasing number of solar installations. Our goal is to ensure that the solar industry continues to grow and flourish. With the current trend of improved technology and reduced costs, solar will be able to sustain itself without the need for incentives or further mandates. This will allow it to grow well beyond the 15% goal. When many of us think of solar energy, we think of solar panels on rooftops, in our neighborhoods, on schools, apartments, and other commercial buildings. Unlike the large facilities that are the norm, with other forms of generation like coal, natural gas, or the large nuclear facility, Palo Verde. However, in addition to the rooftop solar that is visible all around us, Arizona has a large number of utility-scale solar facilities that are typically not seen because they are located in more remote areas. There are currently more than three dozen utility-scale solar projects producing power around our state, 75% of which were completed in 2011 and 2012 and additional eight projects are expected to come online in 2013. The combined capacity of these facilities would be over 1,000 megawatts, enough electricity to power approximately 250,000 homes. One site nearing completion is particularly interesting, the Solana Project. If you have driven to San Diego recently, you may have noticed it is just west of Gila Bend on the north side of Interstate 8. It's one of the largest solar plants in the world, covering three square miles and is anticipated to produce 250 megawatts of power. Unlike solar photovoltaic plants, which only produce electricity when the sun is shining, the Solana plant uses parabolic mirrors to concentrate the sun's energy, creating a steam, which then drives turbine generators. The excess heat not used during the day is then stored in large storage tanks containing molten salt. Stored heat can be used to create power even when the sun is not shining. Private investors have funded this $1 billion project. I hope you can see that Arizona is excelling in solar energy. In addition to the large solar projects mentioned, we continue to see a record number of residential rooftop solar installations. The Corporation Commission has managed this while continually lowering the cash incentives, which saves all Arizona ratepayers money. The current incentives are only about 3% of what they were just five years ago. Solar energy is an ever-growing important piece of Arizona's energy producing portfolio. By properly managing all of the energy sources that we use in Arizona, coal, natural gas, nuclear, hydro, and renewables, we will continue to have safe, affordable, and reliable power.